Hi everyone, this is Bob from the Netscope team and I'm very excited to give you a look at Netscope's Digital Experience Management or DEM. So before we get started, why DEM? So with the transition to cloud, an increase in hybrid work, and the growing adoption of Secure Access Service Edge, or SASE, Netscope customers need proactive end-to-end -end visibility into their network and applications with real-time actionable insights that are based on real user activity. And this ensures cloud security delivers without performance trade-offs. Let's take a look at this in action. Netscope DEM provides comprehensive operational status and health visibility for customers' traffic traversing our new edge infrastructure and applying Netscope's inline security services. The Tenant Overview Dashboard provides a fixed summary of data over the last seven days, including details of traffic volume, session counts, and what data centers are being accessed, Netscope client versions being used, and active user counts. Exploring the Tenant Overview Dashboard further, filtered views are available, which provide valuable information for troubleshooting. This can be tremendously valuable to understand, for example, what is happening on the user on-ramp or the last mile compared with the northbound or first mile side accessing specific apps or services. Now, in the initial release, we focus on a set of selected apps like Google Drive, Gmail, Yammer, OneDrive, Outlook, SharePoint, and Teams, but in the future, we will be expanding the list of supported apps. Now, an example is, let's say you have a customer with many users in the US accessing the New Edge data center in Chicago, and they're complaining about OneDrive performance. Now, these views can help quickly determine if the issue is on the user side or is the issue on the application side. Today, the views are focused on the last 12 hours of data collected. But in the future, we'll look to make this more customizable. Transitioning from the tenant overview dashboard to network steering. Now this view provides details on configured tunnels like GRE or IPsec that are sending traffic to new edge data centers. Tunnels get displayed in map view with the ability to filter on the type of tunnel, plus mouse over details provide the number of tunnels per data center or POP. Drilling further into the network steering dashboard, real-time status for tunnels is available based on last 30-day history and includes details on whether tunnels are up or down, as well as things like throughput per tunnel based on data sampling done every 60 seconds. Now this can be valuable when Netscope is integrated with existing next-gen firewall or SD-WAN devices steering traffic to new edge. Moving on to the client steering dashboard, this is where details on user activity are made available, including active user counts over the last seven days, how this compares to licensed seat counts, as well as info on Netscope client versions being used or bytes transferred. We can also drill into the details and see who the specific users are that are having their traffic steered by the Netscope client. You can see additional details, including the number of Netscope client connections per minute. This is useful, for example, to see spikes in activity that one would expect to see at the start of the workday at 9 a.m. Now, this information can be valuable. For example, filtering by POP or data center to understand the potential impact if there is a problem in a specific region. This may be related to a major internet cut or weather-related event and a cutover to another alternative steering method is needed. Also available are views into the client version. So with a new update available, for example, you would expect to see adoption increase over time as employees update appropriately. Let's move to the next set of dashboard views, namely for private apps. This is specific and only relevant to customers using Netscope private access for zero trust network access. Info is available on upload and download bytes, data centers being accessed, user and session counts, active publishers, and the number of apps discovered. Additional details include a filtered view based on user, app, 
publisher, or time frame. An example use case is to identify who is accessing what app and insights into the volume of their activity. Another example is if there is a user having a problem accessing a specific app. It's easy to determine if this is related to a policy being triggered. If a workaround exception is created, an administrator can confirm the access is working correctly after this workaround is implemented. And that is a brief look at Netscope's digital experience management. Please note that new features are constantly being added. So please join our online community at community.netscope.com to get the latest updates. Thank you.